Hello Year 6 and welcome to Thursday's Maths lesson. So over the last few days we've been doing a mixture of things. So we've done some shape and we've done some um, handling data. So we're actually going to move on to the Year 6 book now. So it's this book that was delivered in your new pack. Okay, so you are looking at this book. So the year six one. So we're going to go and touch base with our um, adding and subtracting over the next few lessons. OK, so we're going to do adding for today and tomorrow. So you need page five of this year six book. OK, so I know we did, did adding out of the year five one, but we're going to do the work in the year six book because it's really important that we keep revisiting our adding. OK, to make sure that we've remembered the methods. So all of this page is adding. So I'm going to just go over um, column addition, which I know you're all pretty confident with, just in case we've um, forgotten anything and just to remind you of all those little mistakes that you might make and just give you some tips, okay? So lots of your questions today are four digits, add four digits. Okay, so remember we always start here with the ones. Okay, so I've got eight, add three here. So eight on my head, add three, which I know is 11. Now I can't put 11 in there. Okay, so I put the ones in and then I carry the tens. Okay, so then the next one is seven add two, which is nine. But I've got to remember to add my carrying on and that makes it 10. So I carry the tens again and put the ones at the top. Okay, the next one then, so six add five is 11. And then I've still got some carrying to add. So that's 12. And then I always cross it off so that I know I haven't forgotten to add it. And the last one, five add two, which is seven, and add the one, which is eight. Okay, so remember that's our method for adding. Okay, so in the, the work for today, it's just lots of different ways of looking at adding. So the first one, for example, is those four digit numbers add four digits. And then you've got answers here. So when you've worked it out, you, the one of the answers should be here and you need to match it up. So if it isn't here in one of these bubbles, then you've made a little mistake, so you need to go back and check it, okay? And the next one then is doubling. So remember, doubling means adding the same number twice. So if I was doing double 120, I'd do 120, add 120, okay? So on these ones then, we've got a little table. I'll just get a little bit closer. Okay, so if I go through A with you, so it says double the first amount, then double the answer. So here is 1,040. So double 1,040 is 2,080. So if I do 1,040, add 1,040, I'll get 2,080. Okay, so once I've got this answer here, I've then got to double that one to get this one. So 2,080, add 2,080, so that's the same as doubling, is 4,160. So you've got to do the same for all these tables. So for this one, it's 1,630. So you do 1,630, add 1,630, and that give you that answer. And then you double that answer to get that answer, okay? And you've got tables again here. So if I hold it close to, so you can see, so you've got an, numbers across the top and numbers down the side here. Okay, so in this box, I need to add this number and this number together, and that'll give me that answer. This box, I need to answer, add that one and that one. Okay, and then on the other side, I need to add this one and this one. And then for the final box, I need to add this one and this one. Okay, and then on the same on this table, and again, they are all four digits, add four digits. Okay, the next one is just column addition that you know how to do. And if you forget, then go back to the beginning where I've showed you one. And then finally here, it asks you to add these ones in your head. Okay, so you've got here, so if you look at this one, get it closer. So it's adding 400. So think about which columns will stay the same if you're only adding 400. Which columns will stay the same? Which column will change? So have a look. So it's the hundreds column that will change. OK, and then have a look at the, the other ones. Think about the columns that have got zeros in will stay the same. So see if you can have a go at doing those ones in your head. 
Now we're only going to do one page, page five today, because there's quite a lot of working out on that page. Remember, you've got your purple book that you can use to work out. Okay. Remember, if you forget, go back to the beginning of the video and look at how I've done them in a column. Remember to add your carrying, that's really important. Okay, so I'm loving seeing all of your work. Remember to keep sending your pictures in. Well done.